Hello everyone and welcome to Acadgil. In this video, we'll see how to work with advanced filters in Excel. That is the example four. Now have a look on this data. I have this employee database with four different, five different columns. And now the criteria is given here, which says as the date of hire should be less than 22nd of October or the date of hire should be greater than 2nd of May 2019. Okay, that's a criteria which is given here. Now, how do I filter the records? Okay, the process would be absolutely same. Okay, so what I have to do is keep the cursor in the data and press the shortcut key Alt A Q. Alt A Q will give you the advanced filter dialog box, right? So if you have not seen the previous videos for advanced filters, I request you to go through those videos and then come back to this particular video. Now, dancing ants, if you see the source data is selected, criteria range, keep your cursor in criteria range. And now you can select the criteria this way or you can select the criteria this way, one and the same. So right now I'll select simply this criteria. Go to this copy to another location and click on this copy to cell number and click on the cell anywhere outside the data. Click on OK. So now I'll just properly align it, increase the column width. Let's have a look here whether the data we are getting is actually correct or not all the data which is mentioned it is greater than 2nd of may 2019 okay let us verify so it is sorted already in the ascending order let's see all the data is greater than 2nd may if you see 3rd may 4th may 5th may that's the data greater than 2nd may and the other data which i have it is less than 22nd of october this data is less than 22nd of october which is absolutely correct here Okay, this is very useful uh, requirement for people who are working in the HRs or other departments. What they want is they want to filter the records based on the date criteria. Okay, and this is how you can use advanced filter. The process was very simple using the shortcut method and you don't have to put filters, remove filters, all the process, nothing. Okay, that's the easiest method which you can work with, right? So I hope you've understood how to work with this advanced filter that was a fifth exam fourth example and that's all for this video